Have you ever been out at a networking event and someone asks, are you an introvert or an extrovert? And you blurt out, oh, I'm an introvert. But deep down, you know that the answer is, okay, it kind of depends. Your feeling may be right. Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Carl Jung initially coined the word introvert in 1923. In his theory of personality, he distinguishes two different attitude types. Introverts, which are those people who receive stimulation from within, and extroverts, which are those who receive their stimulation from the environment. But what does modern research say about this? We're going to get into that and determine if you really are an introvert. Hi, I'm Lady Tina Leader, a public speaking coach who helps you achieve your authentic charisma. Dr. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist and Stanford professor, famously noted that introverts get a higher reward per social interaction than extroverts do. In other words, it takes very little social interaction to satisfy a true introvert. It's like eating a cake once a year to reward yourself. If, if it's once a year, you savor every single bite. Meanwhile, an extrovert gets a lower amount of dopamine per social interaction. So they would need to engage in that activity at a higher frequency in order to receive the same amount of dopamine stimulation. If you eat cake every day, is it really all that special? Well, not really, you just gobble it down. So according to Dr. Huberman's findings, it means that introverted people are more satisfied faster than extroverts. He also mentioned that this could change. As a matter of fact, an introvert can become an extrovert and vice versa, just depending on how one trains their brain. In layman's terms, extroverts are extroverted because they socialize more rather than they socialize more because they're extroverted. Party more, you like to party. Introverts are introverted because they socialize less rather than they socialize less because they're introverted. So party less, you don't like to party. But why is it that sometimes I feel so energized with some people and then with others, I feel completely depleted? In comes the term ambivert, which is just to say you have experienced both being energized with people, but then also completely depleted with some others. When asked, when do you feel more introverted versus extroverted, you'll probably reply, well, it depends on who I'm with or where I'm at. In my experience, here are the main areas it would depend on. Point one, am I physically, emotionally, or mentally at homeostasis? For example, if you are exhausted because you are just totally burnt out from work, or if you're completely ill, you have a fever, those things are going to really determine whether you are less or more tolerant of deviations that go on in your life. It comes down to your stress level and how much you can handle more stress versus less, depending on where you are right now. Point number two, are they someone or a group of people I feel comfortable being 100% real with or do I feel the need to alter myself in some way in order to be accepted by that group? Some call this masking because it's as if you're wearing a mask in an attempt to please others. This is in Japan, it'll be called my home me, home is the real self versus not the real self. It's normal not to speak to everyone exactly the same. As a matter of fact, I don't think you should. And most people will be one way at court, let's say, versus another way drinking wine with your friends. Most of my clients come to me thinking, oh, I'm an introvert, but more often than not, they just don't feel comfortable around certain people or certain environments, maybe because it's new, it's different, and all they need is just a little toolkit of communication techniques and body language techniques. If that sounds like you, then go ahead and tap here, go through my basics playlist. If you want any further help, reach out.